Now let's see hybridization scheme in water molecule. The central atom is oxygen. The ground state configuration of valence shell is like this. There are two orbitals having fully filled electrons and two half filled orbitals ready to bond with two hydrogen atoms. Therefore, all these four orbitals hybridize to form sp3 hybrid orbitals. Two of them have lone pairs and the other two is bonded with the 1s orbital of hydrogen atom. The bond angle here is 104.5 degrees, which is less than 109.5 degrees of a regular tetrahedron due to lone pair bond pair repulsion. The sp3 hybrid orbitals containing lone pairs do not contribute to the shape of the molecule. Therefore, the shape is bent. Note that the electron promotion step was not required here. In the case of H2S gas molecule, neither the promotion of electron step nor the hybridization step is actually required. Why does the bonding scheme differ in H2S and H2O? The reason is that in H2O the central atom is oxygen, which has 2p orbital in its valence shell. And in H2S, the central atom is sulfur, which has 3p orbital in its valence shell. We all know that 3p orbital is greater in size than 2p orbital. Now if 1s orbital of the two hydrogen atoms bond directly with the orbital assuming no hybridization taking place in either case, what we see? In the case of oxygen, the two 1s orbital of hydrogen atoms are close enough. So they experience appreciable amount of repulsion. But we are looking at a situation where we need minimum repulsive force. Thus hybridization is needed to reduce the repulsive forces. In case of sulfur, the two 1s orbital of the hydrogen atom are far enough such that they experience minimum repulsion. The repulsion is already minimum, then why go for hybridization? Therefore, there is no hybridization in H2S. This is also supported by the fact that the bond angle is more than expected. That is, the bond angle is 92 degrees instead of 90 degrees. This is because the bond pair bond pair repulsion dominates in this case. Because the lone pairs reside in unhybridized 3s and 3p orbitals, which are more inclined towards the sulfur nucleus. Now let's see what happens in the case of SO2 gas molecule. Here the central atom is again sulfur. We will consider the bonding scheme of the major contributor that is the most stable resonance structure of SO2, that is this one. Now this one has two sigma and two pi bonds. So one electron is promoted to the 3D level from the 3P level. Now this is the lone pair and these two form sigma bonds with two oxygen atoms. Therefore, these three hybridize to form three sp2 hybrid orbitals. And these two do not hybridize. One of them form pp pi overlap with the oxygen atom. while the other form dp pi overlap with another oxygen atom. Here the lone pair as usual do not contribute to the shape of the molecule and the shape is bent with bond angle 119 degrees which is very close to sp2 hybrid orbital angle.